Strapper Names fans, how are we all? So I am up with our first Sunday Scrap with Sisters video. Now this is going to be take two of doing the video because apparently the first one wasn't working. So I'm hoping this actually goes up on the Sunday, which is the 4th of November. I am redoing it on the in the afternoon. So who knows, really? Uh, but we are, so my bestie, Scrappy Cheeky Lauren and I are doing a collaboration on this uh, series. So every Sunday we're going to scrap lift a very talented scrapper, uh, designer. And this week we are choosing, we've chosen the, the lovely Inky Quill or, better, or Adele Toomey is her real name. Uh, we've chosen one of her earlier um videos layouts uh, which is a double photo layout and I think it is like an eight and a half by eleven or something like that so it's a small layout but I don't scrap that size so mine is a 12 by 12 I, um, so mine's a bit bigger but that's okay I'm still sticking to the real uh, guidelines I guess of the layout so I have a sheet of 12 by 12 basil marshmallow cardstock I have two photos here of my nephew with his dad, so my sister's partner, uh, with their first ever, or my nephew's first ever football game. Uh, so one photo is getting ready for the footy match with his first jersey on and the day of the first footy match when they came down here to Canberra to watch the Raiders play. So I backed my photos first up onto some vellum as per the lovely inky quill and now I'm going to die cut some circular, large circular patterns. Now what I'm showing you here is with the diamond press if you've got one or looking at getting one there is a, and I don't think you can see it very well, there is a lipped kind of edge on one side and then a smooth side. The lipped edge goes um, down into the paper to cut into the paper as it rolls through the diamond press basically. So I'm just showing you how this works. I don't show you me cutting all the circles. Now I've used the cool kid paper pad that you can see there. It's a crepe paper, I think. Uh, and I've picked a whole heap of different papers to, from that paper pad, starting off with that multicolored sort of triangular one uh, that you saw first off, and basically pulling papers from there along with some other uh, neutral kind of papers as well, just to balance it out. Now she also does, so her layout that we're scrap lifting is a mixed media one. Uh, and so she sprays her basil marshmallow cardstock with water, which is what I do doing this fabulous technique that she always does so well. And I suck at it. Uh, let's be honest. Mine somewhat turns out here, but not as well as I would like. Um, so <laughs> my spray miss really didn't want to work for me to that day. Um, funny enough, I've actually decided today to finally get a cup of hot water and spray the nozzles and everything through it uh, to clean them out because they seem to be stuck. So they seem to be working now. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is the sort of water ink disbursement kind of technique where you uh, then spray the ink on the paper and because there's the water there sitting on top of the um, cardstock, it just sprays and then sort of splashes or disperses out a little bit and gives that real cool like um, water movement kind of effect. And then you spray a bit more water and it blood is over yeah as you can see mine didn't quite go so well so yay um anyway i contemplated i got cranky with it stopped the video and then decided nope i'm just going to keep going uh it's all good it's still there uh however my basil cardstock got really warpy and bendy uh and i had contemplated um putting another piece of cardstock in behind where the mixed media is uh to firm it up a little bit uh, however now that it's all it had dried and and whatnot it's firmed up a bit more so that was okay but it did make adhering everything down really challenging as uh, you'll see me fight with so i have put my photos on some craft foam just to give it a bit of pop and uh, interest up off my background a little bit just because it is a bit bigger than hers. I don't think she put hers on craft foam. I don't think she did. Um, but I chose to just because it's, I think because it's a bit bigger layout it needed it. 
And then now I'm going to stick my circles down in a bit of a sort of hodgepodge fashion, um, making sure colours don't sort of over um, the same colour or, you know, colour tone doesn't sort of go with it, you know, overlap too much. So as you can see there, I've sort of got the multicoloured, then the green and the yellow, da 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 da. Now, on the right hand side of Inky's um, Inky Curls layout, she has the start of her big embellishment cluster that is on this side is a really large, like I think it's like a flower sticker or butterfly, something like that. Uh, so I couldn't find something boyish that could replace that. So I went with my chipboard sticker sheet that you just saw me there have. Oh, you can still see it on the left hand side. I can't think of where that's from. Um, and I just grabbed those two people, kind of father and son kind of significance, uh, and have whacked them on there. Now then I've just grabbed, um, then her layout had like lots of other little tiny embellishments going around it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm adding some buttons and little circle, just circular kind of pieces. Cause that's kind of the theme that I'm going with, um, as well as kind of trying to go with the, the football theme. I didn't have... <laughs> oddly enough in my kit for my nephew um i didn't have a football as such crazy i need to get sorted on that i know um i might actually do some printing and cutting off my cameo so see how i go i haven't done it before but i might give it a go anyway so yes so i'm sort of going with that theme so i've got some buttons and even a little blue flower and another little uh embellishment piece from a, a die cut pack and then I'm going to pop my title down because I thought I better not embellish too much and then forget about my title and have to squeeze it in. Because as I said, we are scrap lifting, so sticking to it as close well to me, it's, I'm sticking to her, the guts of Inky Quill's layout as, as much as possible. Um, kind of like you would a sketch challenge almost. Um, yeah to see how I can sort of but adding my own little spin on it and Lauren and I both doing the same thing now Lauren and I have very different styles um those who watch both of us will would agree uh, especially Lauren with mixed media she is a master of mixed media me not so much um so I'm interested to see what hers looks like um so hers I'm assuming has gone up today I'm hoping um so you probably would have seen it um but yeah so I do hope that this gets back up on the Sunday for you. Those that are, you know, international peeps that are watching this, if there are any, um, you know, it possibly will be Sunday for you. But for my Aussie peeps, it probably will be Monday. So my apologies that the first one has played up already. Um, but, you know, it was there. It's just, you know, the, the blessed charm of technology not working properly, of course. But yes, as I said, this will be something every Sunday that we've started and we're going to, yeah, scrap lift. So we will um, obviously put the link to their video, the person who we're scrap lifting, um, in the description box for you and try and pop in a link to each other's videos so that you can just jump back and forth. Otherwise, yeah, uh, it is, as I said, Scrappy Cheeky Lauren as well. But yeah, so this is, I think, the layout pretty much just about complete in regards to what Inky Quill had on hers. I then decided to add a little bit extra. I wasn't too happy as such with the white background, um, so much white space at the top. Um, I'm not a big open white spaced kind of gal on layouts, I don't know why. Um, so I got a Posca, blue Posca paint pen, drew a border a doodly border and then just some little squiggly bits some hearts some stars and stuff around the top and then i try and add some splatters in her video she does add the uh heidi swap gold color shine splatters um i wanted to stick with the blues so i've gone with tried to do some paint splatters there um and that is it my friends so I will try and get some, oh, I think I try and do some close-ups, but it doesn't work very well. Uh, but I do some still shot close-ups. It's really awkward to do it with my camera, um, the way it is on the tripod now on my desk. But yes. Uh, but yes, so thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you again next Sunday. Thanks very much.